He'll be facing Zach Branke, who is making his 14th start this year. All right, Zach on the attack. Let's see if he can work all of his pitches in. So up comes Ahmad Rosario. Oh, baby. Good pitch by Zach Branke. He had him reaching for that curveball, which came in slowly at 70 miles an hour. Now Reyes, the batter, and gets him on a great curveball down. And Ramirez left alone at second base. Oh, there's the equalizer. He's using it a lot early. Two strikeouts on that pitch. Zach Plesak is the Guardian starting pitcher. Zach has been on a roll. He's been throwing the ball very well. But in his last four starts, he's allowed only four runs. And he is 0-2 in that time. Plesak, the wind and pitch to Whit Merrifield. Beautiful. Swing and a miss. He strikes him out. One down. It's Bobby old. Witt, Jr. Two down. Nobody on. No score. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. Got him with another good slider. Strong first inning for Plesak, striking out a pair. So one down for Nolan Jones. Made his big league debut here on Friday night. Last time. Slow yeah. curve, beautifully located. 73 miles an hour struck him out. Yeah. Third strikeout on that pitch. Dozier's been swinging the bat well here in July. Nine for 24, a couple of home runs, and he's driven in eight. That ball rocketed to left field, and that's going to get down to the wall. Dozier will cruise into second base with a one-out double, and the Royals have their first base runner. All right, that'll work. 17th double on the year for Dozier, just one behind Merrifield with a team lead of 18. Now the Royals need a clutch two-out base hit from Kyle Isbell. And he comes through with a base hit to right. Dozier checks in, and the Royals lead 1-0. 12th RBI, beautiful swing there. And he waited for the first pitch, and it was a changeup. Sped his bat up, 87 right in the middle. That's two changeups that were hard hit in this inning by the Royals. Juan, who was a fine outfielder at a great baseball school, Oregon State. Not a guy with big-time power, but makes contact. Just like that. Isbell played him just right. 50,000 career pitches thrown by Zach Granke. Wow. That's a lot of usage. You think when he gets our age fizz, he might feel a few aches and pains in the elbow and shoulder? One of 17 pitchers to reach that number. That is incredible. That's a lot of throws, man. One out, fourth inning, and now Zach pitches to Fran Mill Reyes. Curveball is swung on and missed. And Zach has four strikeouts today, and three have been on the curve. Two down. Look at Mustard off to the races, but all of a sudden loses his pants down around his ankles. He has no chance to catch uh -oh. the crew and uh -oh. a face plant. Oh, sometimes you get the victory, <laughs> and sometimes it's <laughs> agony. Of defeat. Oh well, he's okay. We'll give you that, but lost a lot of his he garment. Found his glove. <laughs> he found the glove. Now somebody help me up. <laughs> and pull my pants up. <laughs> exactly. Dozier doubled his first time up in the second inning. He's into the line. The one-two swing and a miss. Strike three. Tied him up on a slider in tight that time. And for Plesak, that's his third strikeout. That was hilarious. That had all of Kaufman Stadium howling. Can't beat fun at the old ballpark. No, you can. Emmanuel Rivera taking over at third base. Whit Merrifield was pulled from the game, so Lopez goes to second. Try to get an update for you about the injury status of Whit Merrifield. Drinky from the stretch. Now the 2 2, and a wave and a miss, and he strikes out Hedges. And that is number five, so he equals a season high with his fifth strikeout on the day. Here is the update on Whit Merrifield. You can see him at second base. It seemed like that right toe was bothering him a bit. And the Royals not taking any chances with their excellent infielder slash outfielder. Cam Gallagher, the catcher. Here's Plesak's one two. Swing and a miss strike three. Good slider from Plesak. That's his fourth strikeout. Now they have him at first and second base with one out for a guy who may be an all star this year Andrew Benintendi. Now the one two. And a swing and a hard hit ball into right field for a base hit. Vance Wilson waving home. Nicky Lopez, he'll score. And the Royals double their lead. It's two to nothing. Andrew Benintendi drives in his 35th run of the year with a base hit to right. Stopping at second was Rivera. Now the base is loaded one down for MJ Melendez. Two and one. And the pitch. And he swings and hits a looper into right center. And that will drop for a hit. One run is in. Two runs are in. The throw goes into third. Bobby's safe. 
And now MJ is out at second base trying to get 90 more feet but he drives in two right there with a blue pit to right center and drives in a pair and the Royals double their lead it's four to nothing. So Rivera and Benintendi come around to score Bobby Witt gets to third. Now the 0 2 swing and a miss strike three got him to chase a pitch up high Dozier fans but the Royals score three in the fifth and we'll head to the sixth inning with the score Kansas City four the Guardians nothing two and two on Nicky Lopez with a runner in scoring positions and he'll swing and line it to left field and on a short hop Quan can't grab it and it's off of his glove and Isbell will score on Nicky Lopez RBI single and the Royals lead five nothing and now there are two on with two out now you'd figure that Dylan Coleman would be getting after Miles Straw with that fastball to right field played nicely by Nicky Lopez and after being a little while to open the top of the seventh inning Coleman fights back getting a couple of fly outs and a line out Ahmed Rosario has struck out and grounded out twice went right after him and his bell lays out and makes a brilliant catch. Boy, he tracked that ball nicely. Didn't make one misstep there. When his first step took him right to the ball. Very good athlete. And that's what you do if you're Taylor Clark. Three and two count, make him hit it. Use that special defense they have out there. Two down, Miller to third, and the one two. All the way to the backstop, and coming home to score on the wild pitch is Owen Miller. So Cleveland will not be shut out thanks to a wild pitch. Now two and two the count on Jimenez. The pitch. Swing and a miss. So the Royals win the series. The Royals make it two out of three. Final score. The Royals five, Cleveland one.